Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. Thursday, July 29th. Currently 70 degrees. Only going up to 79 today. Not even breaking 80. I like it. A little humid, a little rainy, overcast, but not the end of the world. I'll take it. Today I am smoking my J Mouton Canadian, sandblasted Canadian. I think that's a horn accent. Super, super nice. Awesome pipe. Smokes like a champ. As of now, it's my, it's definitely my favorite handmade pipe I've had. Um, or that I have, I should say, from one of the YouTube guys. Really? Or just so, ugh, PA drivers. Um, a lady just like flew by me, cut me off. I was trying to come into the lane just to, to sit at the red light. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sitting at the red light. Have, that was that was worth it. So anyway, it doesn't take long for me to leave my house and have some jerk driver, like, do something to me. I swear, I feel like it's every day. I don't, like, look these look for these things. They just kind of find me. I'm like a dumb driver magnet. <laughs> so today I'm smoking some Cornell & Deal Speakeasy. Which is a Virginia, Perique, Kentucky with a rum topping and uh, I'm not normally a fan, a big fan of uh, spilling my coffee everywhere um, a real boozy or heavily topped with, you know, with some sort of alcohol blend but this is done just right um, it really plays well with the, with the tobacco. It's real mild. Um, and, uh, I enjoy it. The, uh, tobacco blend is definitely really really nice. It's got like really good proportions of, of all three. <clears throat> it's not heavily Kentucky or really good. This is the second tin that I've had of this when I first got it a few years ago. I uh smoked the crap out of it. I really liked it. Bought another tin. I don't have anything cellared. I don't have a lot of Cornell and Deals stuff cellared. Um, I have uh, Sunday Picnic opening night, I think, are the ones that I have a um, decent amount of. So I just, uh, I wish I could show you pics, but I'm not that savvy. I don't, I, uh, just commissioned a, um, a pipe from Ryan McCauley that combined two of my favorite pipes, um, my Costello Canadian and my Costello Stack, which has the, the, the military mount. Um, and so it's a stack. It's a, it's a rusticated stack, pretty big, pretty big, uh, pretty big bowl, probably a couple inches, um, and then it's got the the oval shank, just like my Canadian does. 
and um, I saw the reason it even got it got me going on that road. Buddy Dan Dan Seaman, um, he just had a, like a stack made from Ryan. It's a, it was a smooth finish. It had a, it was drilled for nine millimeter. It's beautiful pipe, and I saw that, and I was like, "Damn!" I'm like, "I need one of them." Not smooth. I said, "You know, a little longer, not smooth." You know, either rusticator or sandblasted. And Ryan was like, "Yo, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll get you on the books." And um, so I was like, "You know, here's here's what I have, and in, 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 this is what's in my mind. What I'm envisioning is, you know, the bowl of that stack." with the stem of my Canadian. So like a, an, an oval shanked stack. Um, I mean, when I say he nailed it, you, where do you see this pipe? It is, it's better than I envisioned. It's like absolutely perfect, black rusticated. And we went with uh, like a real bright stem. It's almost like a highlighter neon, like yellow. Looks really amazing with the contrast. Um, I can't wait to smoke it. It's gonna smoke forever. It's uh, it, it's just the rustication is amazing. Um, I had seen, you know, Dan had a has a few, several of uh, Ryan's pipes, and um, and I I definitely admired them. Most of them were on the short side because I think Dan likes you know short stubby pipes. Um, but man, I'll tell you what, this won't be the last. This won't be the last. If it if it smokes half as good as it looks, it's gonna be amazing. So I can't wait to, to get my hands on that. And he made it so so fast. I mean he started it yesterday and completed it yesterday. I was just like blown away. Really nice dude. Super talented. You know, not overly priced. Um you know, it's, I love supporting local, you know, smaller carvers, um, and, uh, the danger of, of that is, just like Jay Mouton, I, I got one pipe from him, then I got another one, and now I have another one I have in mind, I have a couple of, uh, Neil Monnier, the garage made pipe tool, I have a couple of his pipes, I have a Simon pipe. I have, um, who else do I have? I have, uh, um, why am I drawing a complete blank? Um, Jason, uh, Jason, Jason, what's Jason's last name? All right. I have a complete brain fart. Jason, who did, he did, uh, I have a billiard from him, plus he did uh, my, my cutting board. Um, Rose pipe, I have a, a pipe from him. Both those pipes I have I have yet to smoke, and I think I might do a giveaway, because I like to support them, um, and then it kind of gives me a reason, or gives me something to, to do in a future giveaway. So, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy, I, don't get me wrong, I enjoy my, you know, my new Radice I just got, all my Radice's and Costello's, and my new, um, the Danish Pipe Shop, that stack that I smoked yesterday, that thing is sweet, but I do like a handmade here and there. I'm just not into, like, I, I, I can't do the, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollar, like, and you go with like the the more the better known, you know, pipes that the collectors collect, the pipe carvers. Yeah, it gets it gets crazy. Just not, you know, I did that for a little bit, and I was like, nah, I'm, I'm, you know, they're great, they're awesome, but it's a lot. Of, I'd rather have a, a you know a few cheaper pipes than one super expensive one. Back to the blend, yeah, um, it's real good. It's it's got a like I said, it, it's not like overly boozy. Um, it's it's blended very well. 
really works works it all meshes together really good burns well you know I'm not getting any kind of tongue bite or anything so give it a try and if you're in the market for a pipe um, check out Ryan McCauley check out Jay Mouton um, you know check out the local guys the the guys that are not as not as well known because you can get some really great value and some amazing craftsmanship anyway well, I am just pulling up to work here um, Hope you guys are having a great week. We're almost at Friday. Next week is I'm on vacation, the second half of the week, so I may or may not be making making videos. I'm not 100% sure. You guys have a great day. If you're, uh, you know, if you're coming up to a light and there's somebody at a driveway or a cross street let them out just do the do the courteous thing you know you're not you don't have to rush to go sit at the red light you know that that five seconds it takes to be courteous and let somebody out isn't going to be the you know the make or break you know you're not going to get there any quicker and it and it it has a chain effect you know you let somebody out they might be having a miserable morning you let them out they get thanks thanks you know you did me a solid then they let, you know, do something for somebody or let somebody merge in. And they let, it's just a domino effect. It's just way easier to be courteous and nice in this world than it is to be a jerk <laughs> and be selfish. It's harder to do that. You know, it's way easier to just be nice and be courteous and simple. Just do it. Anyway, and remember, the left lane is for passing. Have a great day, guys. See ya.